Hello everyone and welcome back to an update on punishing scamming phishing pages with Python. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's contributed so far to this project. I thought it was a bit of fun. The first video was mainly about Burp Suite and you know the ethical hacking side of it. My job as a day job is cybersecurity engineer. I've been in the trenches, you know, a SOC analyst, things like that. I've got a Microsoft security stack really. I have used tools like Darktrace and uh, Sophos and Tejas, XDR, MDRs, etc. So I really appreciate everyone contributing to this project because I'm not a Python engineer. I made that very clear if you haven't seen the first video and um, I recommend you go and watch it if you haven't because it'll give you some context behind what's happening here. But the code looks totally different now. It generates random emails, user agents. You can input a URL directly without editing the source code. So I'm going to leave everyone that's contributed or added something into the description to give them credit. I started the project, but I'm not taking credit for any of this now. It's it's like grew legs uh, and almost arms. So I think this can evolve into a really good project. It, it could change its name. Maybe if it can think of a better name. I was thinking of the fishing net, <laughs> but um, that's more like that sounds like more like a Mimecast tool. Um, but this is what it looks like now. I'm not, I'm not going to go through all of the code. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. If you if you want to know more, just ask questions in the description. Comments will be added to this, by the way, so just wait for them. And the second point is that people wanted to find out where to get phishing links. So as a SOC analyst, I use a lot of like an malware analysis, like sandboxes, and I think App Any Run is brilliant. So if you click the link in the description, it's app.any.run. It's an online interactive malware analysis tool. So you can analyze URLs, emails, and files. And every submission is added to public reports. So if you click the public reports tab, you'll see everyone's submission in real time. Now we're only interested in phishing links. So you can actually search for the tag phishing, click enter, and then all the submissions of phishing will come up. So there we go, loads of different phishing links that have been submitted today or yesterday. So typically these will still be live. Very unlikely they get taken down so quick. Excuse me. So we can just pick one of these. I've already done it for speed and I think I just chose this one. So if you click on it, it's fine. It won't affect your system. It's a completely isolated VM hosted by someone else um, or hosted by App Any Run. And essentially, when you click on an analysis, um, it shows you a screenshot of what the website or application does. You can move your mouse to view different screenshots and see like HTTP requests, DNS requests, and things like that. So this is what the site looks like. In fact, it's very f similar to the one in my first video. So we'll just investigate this one. All we need is the URL for it. So I'm just going to copy to clipboard, and then we've got the URL. So I'll just close out of this now. For speed, I've already opened it in Burp Suite. So what you want to do is open Burp Suite, go to Proxy Intercept, open browser. You, you must click this open browser. It will open a separate browser. That's the proxy through Burp Suite. Visit the URL. So I've just copied and pasted that URL we got from the clipboard from App Any Run. Then I'm going to enter, well, I've entered some data. Before clicking the Submit button, I've turned Intercept on, click Submit, and then you should see something like this. So we can actually see where the post date is going. I've copied the host and post into a text file. So this is where the data is going when you submit the form. So we're going to punish it by flooding it with loads of uh, fake information using Fish Killer. Thank you to everyone that's contributed to it again. The last thing we need to do actually is look at the form data. This is really important because in the source code, the data array here is what is being submitted as form data. Now, the developers will always have different ones, pretty much. In the first video, the first link that we punished was um, A and AZ as the email and password on the form. This one here actually is TIN and TAN. So you just need to copy whatever the uh, form data is from their end, so TIN and TAN. So in this case, I'm just gonna replace A with TIN, and then, uh, not VIN, sorry, TIN, and then TAN. So that matches up now for this specific link. The reason this one isn't an input box like the enter URL is, is because there might be more than one or there might be more than two input boxes. So you just have to keep adding to the array for each one. If very, really simple. If you've got any questions with it, just leave it in the comments. I'm sure people will be able to help you, but um, 
<laughs> it's it's not that difficult to do if they have more than two input boxes. And then I think we're set to go. So all we need to do now is actually run this script. So Python 3 and then fish killer. Let me make sure I save that document. It's Python 3 fish killer. If I can type it properly. <laughs> Fishkiller.py. Click enter. Then it presents you with an input box to enter the URL that we want to target. Now I think I did save it, didn't I, in the text file. So I've just copied and pasted it uh, from directly from here. So you can see the first part of it is no code form.io and then the second part actually is the um this you know post data request. So it's like the PHP file or directory. I, I need to actually visit this because it or report it to no code form if it's a genuine hosting company. But let's enter it here, so I'll just paste it and then click enter. And then it should run if we get everything correctly. Oh, there we go. So it's <laughs> so <laughs> okay. They're getting punished. So it's very hard to see here, I think. But you could you could just about see the the emails being generated. I will stop it in a sec so you can actually read the status code is two hundred, and then there's different agents um, headers being generated for it, so it looks like it's coming from a different source each time. And we're getting a status code of two hundred, so it is working. So their database is just, you know, that's going to cost them a decent bit of money now because their database has probably just doubled or tripled in size already. So I've just stopped it um, to have a look so I can show you what it's actually producing. It's got an email, so that's the email that was submitted. That's the password that was submitted. The status code is 200, so it's successful. And then we've got headers. So you can see for each one, and it might be a little bit difficult on here. But you can see like iPhone OS, like uh, Mac OS, but then we've got like Windows NT here. We've got another Windows one. Um, so it looks like it's coming from different sources. I mean, there's Android up there. So that's the idea behind the script, and you can leave this running. Now, it needs more domains, I think, maybe, but it works. And again, I'm just really thankful for everyone that's contributed to this project. I didn't realize it would take off like this. Um but I think that's it. I think uh, I've stopped the script anyway, so <laughs> I think they got punished enough. I'm going to report the URL anyway. I think the last thing I'm going to mention is the URL in the previous video is now suspended. So we did have a victory. That website got crushed by the owner or the host provider. They got rid of it. Um, if you watch the previous video, I think it was like hostgr.com and it was like ECC. 2.php that no longer exists so we had a victory on that one that was one destroyed um a one punished another one's going to get punished here now once this goes out because i can't imagine this url is going to last much longer so again thank you to everyone that's contributed all your names will be in the description and um, if you've got any questions on this please leave a, a a comment below and i'm sure people will try and help you the, uh, the best they can so thanks again Subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you all in the next one.